Okay, hi guys. Um, I figured I'd make a video about like the products that I use um, because people have been asking one and two, I've, I was a preteen and a teen and a young adult on the internet and I've been on the internet for like 10 years and I've had a lot of stuff sold to me that was stupid and not worth the money and I think I've really cut the fat from my regime but it's still pretty high maintenance you'll see what I mean I'm like obsessed with having like it's not an unhealthy obsession but I'm obsessed with having like perfect skin and hair um so I do a bunch of stuff and I've tried different ways to do that over the years and I've found what works what's the cheapest and what's best for the environment so I will share them with you okay people want to sell you expensive hair masks don't let them okay all right you all you need is a bond builder bond rebuilder and almond oil if you have fine hair so if you would tweak what kind of oil you use depending on the thickness of your hair um mine while i have like a lot of it it is fine if that makes sense so the strands are very thin so when you bleach your hair or when you process it, there's two things that happen. It breaks down the bonds in your actual hair and it dries it out, which are two different things. So you need to know that when you're taking care of your hair. So you're gonna need both something that rebuilds the bonds and something that moisturizes your hair. So this is what works for me. I use Olaplex maybe um, once every couple weeks, not so often now, cause I haven't gotten my hair bleached for like a year. Um, I've just been spraying hydrogen peroxide in it, which they say you shouldn't, but I'm having no problems. So, um, anyway, so Olaplex every couple weeks, then about weekly, bi-weekly, is that twice a week? Whatever means once or twice a week, I take, oh wait, hold on. what I do is I take a little almond oil and then in here I put lavender, rosemary, and peppermint because they're supposed to like, um, help with hair growth. I don't know. My hair grows fast anyway, but I just want it to, so I can do stuff to it and then it goes away. Anyway, so I take this and then I got these little pipettes on Amazon. I'm looking for like a reusable kind of option because I can only use these a couple times because they look like it gets gross. Um, but so you take this and then I literally flip my head over and get it all up close to my scalp. Um, because it's really good for hair growth to make sure that your scalp is healthy. Then after I've put that all in and kind of massaged it in, I massage my whole head, um, with this, um, flip my head over, massage it with this, um, and then I braid it really tightly. Um, and usually I'll go do a workout. Um, so this stays in for like an hour. Sometimes I'll do it overnight. I give my hair a good brush with one of these. I use this particular brush, or you can use one of those natural bristled ones because it does feel scratchy almost on my scalp, but it's good because it like exfoliates your scalp. It gets um, like blood flow there. It's really good. So I give it a good brush with the oil and with this. Um, and then I wash my hair as I usually would um, using this um, for shampoo to like really get it down to my roots. Um, and also it's kind of like, I only do it once or twice a week, but it's kind of like you, your hair feels so clean after because it's kind of like double cleansing with your hair. Cause you put oil in and then you shampoo. Um, but I think it's excellent. I really think so. That's almond oil with rosemary, peppermint, and lavender and these little pipette things to get it really close to your scalp. I imagine that also maybe if you're someone with really, really thick hair um, or maybe really curly hair, I don't know if you've considered one of these for using scalp oil, but you should because it gets it real close. I have really thin hair, so I could probably do it with my fingers, but I like this just to really get it down there. If you have really thick hair, I imagine this would be very useful because you can just like stick it in there, get it right on your scalp. That's all the hair stuff that I use. Next. We're moving on to body stuff. The scrub industry, load of bullshit. They're just trying to take your money and pollute the earth. You know what you should do? Dry brush. This shit works so well. Um, and I think it dries out your skin less because you're not in like hot water and using like soapy, scrubby stuff to exfoliate. Um, and it has, um, I used to have like, not they weren't 
bumps like uh um I know there's something like KP where it gets red, but they were just like almost like kind of little goosebumps that I used to have um, on like my butt and like legs. They they're like little goosebumps. Gone. It's baby soft everywhere. And this thing, you only need to replace it like once a year. Maybe you could probably keep it for longer. You don't have to keep buying um, scrubs. It dries out your skin less. Do this. Stop using scrubs stupid dry brush instead it's really good okay second thing is is that when i am shaving i kind of change between well um you, i like wax sometimes shave whatever um when i'm lasering i have to shave i forget i have this all the time and then i remember and then i use it we'll talk about this in a second anyway um so when i do decide to shave I have switched over to one of these bad boys um, because first of all, I don't like shaving with even remotely old razors, which is wasteful as hell. Um, and I was throwing away a lot um, and I came across this as like an actual practical kind of replacement for, um, for a shaving. And it's been around, what are these called? safety razors. These have been around for hundreds of years. Um, you kind of have to get used to it. It's a little different. You can't just like, it's not like Flamingo. You can slap that razor on and just go nuts. You're going to have to like look a little, I don't know. It's a different thing shaving with a straight, uh, not a straight razor, a safety razor, but I think it's better than, um, like other razors and all you're replacing is a little thing in there. And they're about like, five cents a piece. Also aluminum, I think. There's some sort of metal that can be recycled. It's like an, this is really, really, really good. Um, the other thing I really like is I bought this a couple years ago and I always forget to use it, but then, um, I, when I actually remember to use this, I can go weeks between shaving. So, okay. I know that I just shit on scrubs. But I think the only time you should use a scrub if it's a job that is too hard for this guy. And so if I'm trying to like um, reduce ingrowns or because I wax sometimes, um, this is it. This is the heavy duty guy. If this one isn't cutting it, I'll bring this guy out. Okay. And this one has acid in it. So it's 10% AHA. So um, this will like absolutely obliterate any ingrowns or like I don't know I think it's great so if this doesn't do the job I'll do this um oh the last thing I wanted to show you I don't really have a preference for moisturizers for your body um I'm moving soon once after I move I want to try out Paula's choice like retinol line for their body uh for the body but other than that I just use kind of whatever except this shit is so good. It smells so good. It smells amazing. I, okay. This freshly exfoliated, put a little bit on your collarbone, you know, if you have a little bit of a tan on your chest, like you just glow. It's so nice. Um, so yeah, this is the, I don't know how to say it, but it's this stuff and it's the floral version, not like the regular version. Oh, last thing for my hair, cause I forgot. Like once a week, maybe if my hair's starting to look brassy, throw away your shimmer lights, okay? You wanna see how pigmented this is? That'll get the job done, okay? Not shimmer lights. This stuff stains my hands if I have it on too long. So if you have brassy hair, this stuff works. Oh, okay, so now we're getting the skincare. Oops, okay. So keep in mind, when it comes to the skincare stuff, I'm insane. Um, and as a woman, you have no responsibility to stay young, to look young. Um, we're allowed to age, but I don't want to. Um, this is what I do for my skincare, and this is how I'm hoping to prolong my youth. Um, okay, number one, I don't smoke cigarettes um and I don't drink very much now I used to drink more but I think that my skin's gotten better it looks healthier I think it looks like more hydrated since I've stopped drinking um I'll have like maybe one glass of wine a week but 
I will give you my whole routine. And also, while some of it's extra, I will tell you the fat has been cut out again. I know I mentioned that earlier. Um, in my earlier, like a couple years ago, I was so obsessed with skincare and just bought all these masks and it's stupid. You do not need any of that. You don't need, maybe if you want a mask, get yourself one, um, like acidic kind of exfoliating mask and like one mud mask if you have to, but you really don't need them. Um, what matters the most is just like what you're doing every day, your skincare routine every day. And so I'm going to show you that. But first, I will show you one thing. I have really bad TMJ. Um, I think I'm going to get Botox actually injected so that I stop grinding my teeth so bad. But I recently got this pillow that's supposed to help with that. But it also helps with sleeping on your back, which I'm trying to train myself to do. It's the best for wrinkles <laughs> because um, you're just... and your face isn't as like swollen on one side or the other because you're laying on your back. This is the pillow and like your head goes here. And so it makes like, you don't kind of, um, your head doesn't tilt to one side or the other. And it's really helped with my shoulders and my um, TMJ, TMJ sort of. Um, but most of all, I'm training myself to sleep on my back and this is a great way to do it because your head fits right there. Um, and of course there's a self pillowcase on it. Let's start from the beginning. Um, if you guys remember, like, years ago, I used to be really obsessed with skincare, and I went a little buck wild um, for a couple of years, and then I went the exact opposite direction, and I was done with it, and I used CeraVe for a year. Like, just CeraVe. CeraVe face wash and CeraVe moisturizer, no serums, nothing, whatever. Um, I will say my skin didn't really, like, um, suffer doing the, during the CeraVe era, but it wasn't as nice as it, as it is now. It's an, it wasn't as clear um, and texturally it wasn't as nice. So the whole CeraVe thing is great if you don't want to like do anything else. Paula's Choice makes a cleansing balm that they just came out with that I really love. Um, a lot of cleansing balms that I've seen have been in pots, which I think is nasty. I do not want to be touching my skincare product directly. Um, and theirs comes in a little squeezy tube. I don't have it here, but it's amazing, really good. Um, then second, I double cleanse if I've been wearing SPF or makeup because SPF doesn't always come off easily. Um, then after, I will say your face wash matters the least of everything in your routine. I'm using this um, because I like Embryolis. I like their moisturizer. And this is almost seven fluid ounces and I got it for not very much money. So it's a lot of face wash for not very much money. And I see nothing really wrong with it. It just, oh, I guess it's for face and body. Oh, jeez. I feel like a man. Well, I just use it for my face. I've had no problem. I haven't been using body wash on my face yet. No, no, I haven't. No, it's for your face too. Okay. Well, this is what I use to wash my face. Then in the morning, I will put um, a vitamin C serum, uh, which works together. This is from Paula, Paula's Choice. Um, I'm, I will tell you the products that I 100% um, recommend, and then I'll tell you the ones that I'm neither here nor there on. I will link the Paula's Choice um, cleansing balm below, 100%. I'm obsessed with that. I, I'm not sure about this yet. I've been using it. I've never used another vitamin C. Um, and so I'm not sure. It's good, but it's not like I'm gonna, it's not like this next product. So I put this on, then I put this on. Wear your sunscreen. I thought that sunscreen was just to prevent wrinkles, but um, it also evens out your skin tone like crazy. I'm wearing makeup right now, but honestly, it's just like a really thin layer, of, like Glossier concealer kind of in some places and from where look are you serious it's from wearing sunscreen every day i did not know that was a side effect of sunscreen do you know what another side effect of sunscreen is your skin is more hydrated because the sun isn't leaching and drying out your skin so even if you're not great as like a long-term kind of person and you're like well wrinkles are a problem for me later on this stuff works now um and so I've been wearing it for a month and I just like, my skin has never looked better ever. So wear your sunscreen. There are more reasons than just wrinkles in like 10, 15 years. Also, cancer. <laughs> 
not just for like aesthetic reasons you should be wearing sunscreen at night time um i will wash with the same stuff um and then and i'll put niacinamide um i don't really know what it really does but everyone's always talking about how good it is for your skin so i don't know um and then i have this from rory uh it is a prescription strength retinol retinoid but it's tretinoin i think and a couple other things um I was really ballsy, went for the strongest formulation of it um, just because I thought I could handle it and it took me so long to ease into it. I actually started with another Paula's Choice retinol um, and did that for a month um, and worked up to this because it was a weaker one. This one's super strong. Um, oh, also that's something else I wanted to tell you guys there's a lot of uh, like buzzwords when it comes to skincare and there are only some ingredients that are like it's widely accepted that they do actually have an effect on your skin so I know there's like I don't know like there's just a lot of <laughs> like garbage like goji berry goji berry is not going to do shit for your face okay um but uh niacinamide proven vitamin c proven spf proven and retinol it's the only proven like true anti-aging product because it smooths out your skin but also um uh, promotes collagen in your skin which is something that you lose as you get older which causes you to age thing i'll say about retinol is you got to work up to it um you got to be consistent um i right now because i'm still getting into this one i apply it over my moisturizer and then eventually it'll get under my moisturizer, but not right now because my face will fall off. So this is the moisturizer I use, by the way. Also Embryolus. Um, it's great. It's good. It's just a good solid moisturizer. I would 100% back this one. Um, so yeah, retinoid. And I'm, it's these are kind of like IRAs, I think. The sooner you start using them. SPF definitely is. Any finance bros here? If you have a retirement fund, you should be wearing SPF. I think that's it. I'm gonna check. Those are all the beauty products that I use on a regular basis. Um, what else can I cover? It's a little bullshit so you guys don't fall for it. Oh, micro needling. You should not be doing that at home. For God's sake, do not micro needle at home. Um, retinol, don't use during the day. Use it at night. Don't mix it with acids, okay? Niacinamide, use anytime, but don't mix with acids. So this pretty much nighttime. Or if you're not putting a vitamin C or an acid on your face, you can use this. Um, SPF, SPF, obviously, only during the day. Um, it's, they're chemicals and you don't wanna have them on your face during, like you wanna give your face a breather at nighttime. So really do buy a separate moisturizer that does not have any SPF in it. Um, I think that's it. Those are my tips. Thanks for watching. I'll be back when, I don't know. I've decided on this channel, I'm just gonna post when I like really feel the urge to. I don't wanna post like bullshit filler content, so I'm just not going to. Um, but I am moving to Nashville in like a month and I'm sure there'll be content that I'll film down there. Um, I got a house in Nashville. Uh, so we're leaving in a month to move down there. Um, that's also why like covers aren't really happening that often because I've started packing all my shit. But once I'm down in Nashville, they'll happen all the time because I'm going to have a studio. I'm really excited. Um, also, I'm going to start releasing music and doing all that good stuff. So um, while this last year has been a bit of a break, um, I'm going full force in the next six months. Um, I want to put out a fuck ton of music. I have so many songs you wouldn't believe because I've been writing consistently. Um, so yeah, that's it. Have a good day. Bye.